Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to edit your PSP ISO games icon and background image. So if you're not too sure what this is, let me just show you right now. So if you go onto your memory stick, as you can see, my game right here called Tekken Dark Resurrection um, has an icon and a background picture that I don't really like. So in this video, I'll be basically showing you how to make your own custom ones of these and then actually put them on the ISO. So as you can see, this is the game's icon image right here. Um, I don't really like it personally, I just don't think it looks very good for the game and the background's alright, but I will be updating it anyway. So what you want to do with your PSP is just go ahead and go onto the USB connection and then just press on X. Now just connect your PSP to your PC and I will show you guys what to do next. So guys, over on your computer, you just want to go onto the root of your PSP or PSP Go and now you're just looking for your ISO folder. So this is where all your games should be stored. Here is mine, my Tekken game. So what I'm going to do is just drag and drop this into my PC's downloads folder. Now I've actually already done this just because it's a gig in size, so it takes a few minutes to copy across. And here is the one I have got already. So once you've got your ISO in your downloads folder, you want to head over to the link in the description of this video and it will bring you to UMG then. So this is the software we will need to use to edit our ISO to put our custom images on. So just click on the green download button, uh, choose whichever server you want. I'm just going to choose UK. Uh, give it five seconds and then it will begin downloading. So once the software has finished downloading, you can go back to your PC's downloads folder. Just double click on the zip file and we can just start up the UMD gen um, exe file. So from here, we actually want to open up our ISO. So just click on open. Now we're looking for the ISO that appears in our downloads folder. So here is mine, Tekken. Just click on open. Now you want to double click on the PSP underscore game file. So these are the two image files that we will need to change. So just make sure you have both of them selected. Right click and do extract selected. Make sure your downloads folder is enabled and then just click on OK. So what it's going to do is put these images in our downloads folder for us. Now just press the delete key on your keyboard and it's going to remove them. So don't close this software, just minimize it and go back to your downloads folder. So here we have it guys, icon and pick. Um, so here is like the game's icon and here is their background image. So what I have done, I have got two custom images here that I edited in paint.net. Um, this is the picture I'm going to be using for my game icon and then this is the picture I'm going to be using um, for the background of the game. So basically what I got is just a fire picture off Google Images. I also got the logo off Google Images, um, put that on top of it on paint.net. I did exactly the same thing here, logo off Google Images, a character as well, and then just a white background. Um, these are very easy to make, um, you can literally make them in like two minutes, you know, just using paint.net which is a completely free program. So now what I'm going to do is put them over these two. So first of all, let's do the icon, right click it, open with, I'm going to choose paint.net. Obviously you can choose paint, um, you can choose the Windows 10 version of paint I believe. You can pretty much edit these of anything. You can even just like edit them like this, like draw on it if you really want to. But what I'm going to do is go back to my downloads folder, find my new picture, I'm going to right click and copy it, back into paint.net, I'm going to press Control V for paste, uh, keep canvas size, and my one is probably a bit big, so I'm just going to resize it. Don't worry, it's not going to ruin the quality or anything like that. Just resize it to the actual size, just like that. And now just press on enter. So we're now just going to save this. So just click on the cross and then save. Okay. And we need to do exactly the same thing with this. So let's just copy this right now. Back to my downloads folder. Let's open this one with paint.net. And let's control V. Uh, keep canvas size and let's just resize this one. So this one is a bit too big. So let's just resize this to the perfect size. There you go. That's about it. Press enter. Um, now we can just close out of this and save the image. Make sure you leave it as auto as well. 
So now what we need to do, open up our software again, right click and just click on add and then click on existing files. So this is going to bring you out to your downloads folder. From there, select both your images and just click on open. So now we have icon and pic both in our ISO. Make sure they're both PNG files as well. And now we're completely done guys. You can click on save at the top. Make sure you choose uncompressed ISO and you can put this wherever you want. So what I'm gonna call it, I'm going to leave it as this, but I'm actually just going to put patched at the end. And then just click on save. And now it's going to start saving, so this shouldn't take too long. Just give it a couple of minutes. So once this has finished saving, we can completely close out of the software and we can find our patched ISO. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this to my PSP and replace it. So just right click copy, um, find my PSP right here, go into the ISO folder. Um, here is the original game. I'm just going to delete this. I no longer need it. And now I've got my patched version. So I'm just going to wait for this to complete. I won't let you guys watch this because otherwise it's just a waste of time. So once this is finished, I'll go back onto my PSP and prove to you guys that this actually works. Back over on the PSP, I'm now just going to test and see if this actually worked. So let's go onto a memory stick and hopefully, as you can see, here my ISO is and it's got new game picture and the new background image. So I actually quite like that. To be honest, I prefer the one I made over the original, um, definitely the icon picture. I just think it looks you know, a lot cooler. So obviously we can just press X now and the game will just launch as normal. Um, obviously like the game still works um, perfectly fine. All we did was update the icon picture and the background image. So that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. Hopefully I'll be able to make a few more PSP tutorials because um, they're probably like one of the most popular things on my channel anyway. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.